इसरो की संबंधी अप्लीकेशन डिपार्टेंट नीचे नीलेश गर्म तो उ मरी आईन अड़ते तेल मरी विवरा सर कंग्राचुलेषन आ सक्सेफु साफ्ट लाच आफ चंद्रा एंड थ्री सो यू आर् बिलांग्स टू द अप्लीकेशन डिपार्टेंट सो एवरी वन इज टाकिंग अबउट द डिफरेंट अप्लीकेशन दट वी यूज इन चंद्रा एंड थ्री विच रि यूजफुल फर् द साफ्ट लाच कैन यू प्लीज शेयर समथिंग अबउट दट मै सेंटर इट स्पेस अप्लीकेशन सेंटर लोकेटेड एट अहमदाबाद इज दि वेस्टर्न पार्ट आफ इंडिया सो we generally work on the two aspects basically one is payload or sensor development and another is the application of this payload and sensor so both activity is being done in this center of isro and as far as payload or sensor development is concerned if in this mission of chandrayaan 3 uh, we have contributed in around 11 sub systems hardware systems it includes eight camera systems which are the major sensors for all the soft landing mission then there was one radar altimeter which gave us information about the height of the lander when it is going down because that is a very crucial information and then we have a processing system which which uh, was fed with all the data available from these different sensors and which does the processing and gives various parameters as input to the main computer of the lander which help which is controlling the engine firing or the thruster firing so that was the summary of the payloads which we have made and uh, another area where we worked was selection of the landing site because that needs a very elaborate study and analysis of moon surface so that was done since last many years because for chandrayaan 2 also we did it but that was done using data available from american uh, orbiters or american lunar missions but this time we have re reconfigured that whole landing site data with the usage of our sensor which was there on the orbiter of chandrayaan 2 which is a very high resolution camera system so using our data means uh, data captured by our camera we have refined the landing site related studies and accordingly now worked out the uh, three major landing site which we have utilized in this soft landing of course we could we didn't need the other two because we landed safely and securely on the landing prime landing site which we have selected so that was the major work area as far as sensor related activities are concerned and now finally coming to the applications because everything is being done for application otherwise what is the use of technology so for application point of view there are four right now four sensors on lander which are not developed by space applications center but by other centers but i'll tell you about that one is the st will study the plasma emission related aspects on the moon surface another sensor will study the thermal environment of the moon surface and uh, because that these all data will help us in future uh, scope or future planning related to setting up space colonies on moon and all that about which people are talking like a fancy right now but that may become a reality after say 40 50 70 years so for to make it enable we need to have data first so these all these data will be very useful in configuring uh, space colonies in future so they will feed into that studies related to that and there is a laser uh, retro reflector provided by nasa which we which gives us the correct information about with very high accuracy about the distance between earth and moon so that is done by sending a laser pulse from earth to that lander where it is stationary right now it will strike the lander and it will come back and that from the time delay which it takes to travel and come back we estimate the exact correct distance between earth and moon so that will help us to reiterate the point that uh, moon is moving away from earth at a speed of 1 cm per year that is some uh, ex uh, analysis people our scientists have done earlier and that hypothesis we want to uh, corroborate with this data available from the lra and till now all the such measurement were done only from equator the first time anybody has gone to south pole so this will give additional data related on from south pole about this distance going away moon going away from earth and all those studies there are so many uh, things about the uh, south pole of the moon the major thing is there are so much darkness on the south pole of the moon so what exactly we are going to study on the south pole as i mentioned south pole this what are these four measurements which our sensor will be doing from lander apart from that there is a rover so rover will start working next 4 5 hours and uh, it it has two payloads so it will do the analysis of the soil of the moon 
because it is said that a lot of minerals and chemicals are there on the moon's surface. So that will help us to do that uh, mineral mining in future and bring it to Earth. It is a far-fetched idea as of now, but still it is feasible in the future. Nobody would have thought of putting men in space or putting a lander on moon. That has happened today. So same way colonies, space colonies may be set up in future. And for that, it is very important to study the soil of the moon's surface. So for that, these two sensors which are there on the rover will do the study in X-ray with X-ray spectroscopy as well as the laser spectroscopy. So that will give us very good information about all the chemical and the molecular content of the moon's soil. And from that, and then if there is a frozen ice is there, which can be utilized to melt it and then use it as a water, all these possibilities can be examined only by if we do measurements or experiments on the moon surface actually going there. So right now man is not going there, so we have to do it with instruments. So that is what this is the first step in that direction. You just mentioned about the mining. So uh, there are so many speculations that uh, getting mines from the uh, moon to the earth is so much cost effective. So do you think it is uh, it's getting possible or it may get possible? Today it looks difficult or it may not be that cost effective. If you see the cost of any landing mission and all that thing and then bringing it back is still, it will consume another uh, money. But uh, in future, as I said, Nobody had dreamt earlier of going to moon or putting man in space or man on moon. It has happened last 50 years. So same way in next 20, 30, 50 years we may see that we will be bringing minerals from moon like mining and similarly we may be setting up colonies on moon. So for all that studies first we need to do some measurements, experiments on moon surface. So this is the step in that direction, first, first step in that direction as far as ISRO or India is concerned. So not sir just mentioned that uh, within 24 hours rover, rover may come out from the lander any time. So uh, within 4 hours. So sir, uh, what ex how many days exactly the uh, rover will uh, be there on moon? And there are some speculations that uh, people are saying that 14 days only rover may uh, work there. But there are some speculations that if it is possible, uh, then 14 again the 14 days may be. So that counts 48 days. Is that possible? As far as design life is concerned, it is meant for 14 days. Out of 14, we already consumed two days because uh, what is called sun has risen yesterday on moon. So that day is lost and today only we have landed. After four hours, we will be starting this experiment. So that way, 12, 12 and a half days only are there with us. So considering the design life. Now what will happen? It will do the experiment for next 12 and a half days. After that, night will start. Night temperature goes up to minus 120, minus 150 degrees centigrade. So the electronics has to work, sensor has to work in that cold temperature. So uh, what we do, we'll switch off the sensors for the next 14 days where the night is there. After that, we'll try to revive it, again restart it, repower it. And there is a possibility that some electronics may get damaged due to the cold temperature. So it, it is, we are keeping our fingers crossed right now. But there is a possibility that it will, some of the sensors will work properly and so then we can have another 14 days life also that way we can go on continuing eternally till they go on working any one sensor is also working it is worth doing that experiment in getting that data thank you so much sir this is the Chandrayaan 3 rover and the application department. This is the Shastra Vita Nilesh. This is the camera person Navin. This is Ramya ETV News, Bangalore.